In this special with the Anking, I'm going to show you how to update to Anki 2.1.20. There's some really cool updates, but there's also a couple special things you need to do. Uh, notable changes here. There's built-in night mode, which I personally think looks a lot better than the add-on. Uh, built-in text-to-speech. I'm going to try and make a video on that in the future. Uh, it will automatically check for add-on updates every day, which is really nice. Previously, there was an add-on called Export Selected Cards from Browser by Arthur Milchior, and it is now integrated uh, into Anki. And there's also some V2 scheduler fixes, which are really important. This also means once you're on this version, I can release the video on the V2 scheduler, which is awesome. Okay, so special things that you're going to need to do that I'm going to show you. Uh, the clickable tags and the additional cards fields add-on have some special things you, you need to do. Uh, my note type, the close Anki master note type needs to be updated. Um, the USMLE values deck uh, is it has one thing that you got to fix, uh, and then there's also a potential issue with the V2 scheduler if you've been changing time zones, and I'll show you how to fix that. So here we go. Okay, I'll throw this in the description, but this is the link from the Anki website that has all of the changes that were made. Uh, you can see there's quite a few here. I mentioned the most important ones already, but first I'm going to show you what the important things to do are. First, you're going to go to tools add-ons and check for updates uh, and and you want to make sure that all your add-ons are up to date it doesn't matter if you've already updated this previously you just you just check for updates make sure that all your add-ons are up to date because there have been quite a few uh, updates now if you are using the clickable tags add-on uh, uh, see I mine actually looks like this now it says or is it porting clickable tags? So if you have the actual one here where I have it, I've disabled it for now. Uh, that's what I would recommend doing because this one's actually a different add-on because the add-on author has not updated it yet. Um, and I'm going to link this Google Drive as well, but I've got the add-on that you can just download here. That's the one that you'll need for now. Uh, until And this one won't be in the Google Drive anymore once the add-on author updates the original thing. But that's what it is for now. Uh, I've also updated my website here on the best add-ons for add-ons that... Uh, so, for example, I took out Night Mode and Export Selected Cards in Browser because those are now actually in Anki. Uh, and I added a few extra other ones for those of you that like that. Uh, and then uh, if any of you have been doing this install 40 add-ons in five minutes video, I'll update the description here with a link for all of my add-ons that you can download for this version if you want. Um, but let me show you real quick. Just previously you were able to go edit and then export your tags here. Now it's actually notes and export notes and that will export what is selected. Uh, for night mode, as you can see, I'm on a Mac here. My top bar is in night mode. It actually follows the system night mode. So if you have your Mac in night mode, uh, if you're on a Mac, this button here in the preferences actually doesn't do anything. Uh, on Windows, it will though. Uh, like I said, on Mac, it follows the system preferences. Um, so, but it, it looks very nice. Uh, and then I've got it for those of you that I just want to mention real quick if you were on a version prior to 0.17 uh, you're going to need this hierarchical tags add-on and uh, if you're using better tags you're going to need to update that with the glutanimate's new one which is actually amazing uh, but <laughs> it's really cool so uh, and then here's the things that apply to most of you if you're using the on king master close type in this drive like i said i'm going to link this in the description i've pasted the styling and the back so if i click on this you can see it's just a bunch of text here so you would just copy that uh, and then you would come into the cards here and click cards and you would just paste it into here uh, same thing with the back template just paste it into there um, now there are a couple uh, important changes like I said with the clickable tags add-on that you'll need to download here uh, if you're using my note type you'll get this just by copying and pasting but if you're not if you're using it on other card types this here needs to be changed it previously did not have this clickable thing there it just had tags it now needs to be updated like that or it won't work properly uh, so that's one thing uh, the second one is the additional card fields add-on uh, let me pull that up here you can see it used to look like this Ooh, like this right here and, and it needs to look like this now so I use that in my card type uh, for me personally not the one that I'm sharing with all of you but I know that some of you are using something similar you can see I have updated it like that uh, and if you don't do that then it won't uh, fix but if you're using it on a ton of cards the add-on author was super kind and so here's this add-on. If you click on the config for additional card fields fork, then this thing here, the show 
1.20 update message if you set that to true and then restart it will actually have a pop-up that says hey do you want me to update all of your cards and then it will update everything for you um, which is really nice so huge thanks to that add-on author the other thing is the USMLE lab values deck has a, a, a weird thing that had to be fixed took me a while to figure this out uh, it's the normal range ones are fine it's these practice cards uh, you go into the cards here and you can see these arrows here normally comment out that that means like forget this this isn't actually code but if you scroll down a little bit here this part right here was like this and you can see that it's like hey whoa this is weird so for whatever reason it's thinking that that is a field even though it's supposed to be commented out so if you delete it so that there's just one on either side then it it fixes that problem uh, last but not least, I'm going to release a video on the V2 scheduler soon, um, but if you are using it, there is a small chance that you'll have some issues with time zones, so like Anki Mobile and Anki Desktop will not have, like they will have a different number of cards that are due. If that's the case, you just want to copy all of this here, and he explains you want to open the debug console. Uh, the way you do that is command or control shift semicolon it'll pop this up then you will paste this in here and then you will hit command or control enter uh, and i'm not actually going to do it for now but it would it when you do that it'll give you an output here similar to what he says here where it'll say elapsed days like that so uh that, that that's the gist of it if you do find other add-ons that are not working uh particularly anything that's not on my list of recommended add-ons here then I would uh, recommend posting on their GitHub page and saying that it's not working for Anki 2.1.20. Uh, but otherwise, it's a really cool update. The night mode's really nice. Uh, and hopefully this makes it a little bit easier to update. Thanks for learning with the Onking. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnkingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, OnkingMed.com, for more tips and tricks.